Welcome back, IP3. I hope you are doing great, you are staying safe, and you are staying home. Today, we are having our new lesson. Let me open it. Today's lesson will be mainly doing the final review of our whole semester. And this is lesson number 18. So let's get started. First, search in the browser. So search in the browser is right here where you can see, you can type what you are searching for right here. You can use keywords for better and faster results. You need to have a topic and a question in mind. So topic and essential question. Unreliable sources commonly you, um, are called unreliable sources and common unreliable sources are advertisements because they have a goal. What they show you has a reason why they show you that. Social media and blog. So these are not reliable sources because they have an agenda when they show you something. Reliable sources, what are they? They can be research papers, they can be books, they can be from um, sources that have been researched and academic, um, academic people have approved it, like books or journals or etc. So always try to use reliable sources to make your research more useful and more reliable. Check the name of the author, the background of the author, who is he, what is his studies, what did he study, what is he working in, date of the article, when was it published, when was this written, what day, what year, publisher's name, who was the person who published this book. This is the, your browser. You can see different parts and uh, going back or forward, all your tabs, your refresh button, close, maximize, minimize, search bar. By using the right search tool, you customize your research and will get better outcomes. For example, you can use your tools here and you will get this extra um, area that you can give, choose the size of the picture that you're looking for, the color, the type, the time, and etc. Now, what is Google Drive? Google Drive allows you to store files using the cloud can share with other people and many others using folders and drivers. You can keep your drive organized and give names for each folder so you can find it easier. We can use Google Meet to have online classes, speak with friends or even families. We can video chat with others. It is a program that uses the internet to connect with other people. So this is Google Meet. Next we have Microsoft Word, Table, 
go to the insert tab and select the table. So do you remember what Microsoft Word exactly was? It was a software that you can use to write essays, to create tables, to create charts, to create um, any kind of visual effects like tables or charts or graphs and etc. This is how you can insert a table in MS Word. So you just go to the insert, you choose how many, uh, how many rows and columns you need and you just choose it and you just add it. You will, for charts, you will have this um, option to choose here, which you will have many options to choose from. And each topic, each chart has even more styles that you can choose from. So you have to know how you want to create your chart. How is it going to look like? What is it going to be? A smart art graphic is a visual representation of your information and ideas. So it visualizes what you are thinking. It helps it to look more attractive. So instead of writing one whole page, if you use one or two visualizations using smart art, maybe it's easier to understand your writing and your ideas. There are many options to choose from for smart art as well. So you got to just go to insert, you go to smart art and you can choose so many options for your smart art. Now, Microsoft Office. Applications designed to help with productivity and completing common tasks on a computer. You can create and edit documents containing text and images, work with data in spreadsheets and database and create presentations and posters. So what applications are included in Microsoft Office? Microsoft Word, which we use to write essays, we use to type, we can use to add pictures, create booklets, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's very useful program. And I think most of us know it already, how to use it. We can use very different ways. <laughs> we can use very different ways and it can be very useful basically. Next is Microsoft Excel, which some of us might know also. What Microsoft Excel does is it helps you to create data, spreadsheets and put um, numbers into one page to make you understand better, to have it in a better organization. So it helps with the data collection and calculations. Microsoft PowerPoint, one of my favorites is for presenting your work. You, so Microsoft Word is more for writing, and for example, books, essays, and et cetera. Microsoft PowerPoint, you can turn that writing into a short presentation. So Microsoft PowerPoint helps you to present your work, but not in a text format. You can use bullet forms, bullet points, and pictures, diagrams, and so many more options to choose from that helps your presentation to be more attractive, more interesting, and easier to present for people instead of reading from something only. So PowerPoint is amazing to use. Microsoft OneNote. Microsoft OneNote helps you to take notes 
and sketches and even live writing like you can write at the same time and it will type uh, type for you or um, take a picture of your notes and so it's basically like a notebook that you can take notes microsoft outlook is basically your email for Hotmail. Outlook helps you to send emails, store pictures, store information, documents, and many more. But the main goal of Outlook is for sending information, emails, and documents. Microsoft Access is just another um, basically for, for calculations and for creating some different things with it, which you might not use at the moment. So you don't need to think about it too much, but just know the name. The publisher is also interesting, which you can create many other things like um, cards or uh, things like that, which also at the moment you don't really need, but it's good to know the name. And SharePoint is where companies or organizations or schools can use to share their information and they can access and have um, shared information and also chat together. Next, we have Google, which is probably most of you know already, Gmail, Drive, Classroom, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, Meet, Forms, Currents, Sites, and Contacts. So Gmail is like sharing information, sending emails, sending documents, so such things and drive is for the cloud that you can share your um, save your documents online your pictures your files whatever classroom is i think you know what is classroom is for your classes to have online classes and homeworks docs is just very similar to microsoft word is for writing and the good thing is you can work with multiple people at the same time, very useful. Sheets uh, is the, it's very similar to Microsoft Excel. And um, slides is like PowerPoint for presentations. Also, you can work multiple people at the same time. Calendar, it's very useful to save your, important dates that you have to work or go to school or do homework. Meets is for meeting, video calls, and such things. Google Forms is for essay, uh, for surveys, quizzes. Currents are for just like some, some, something that you might not need at the moment. So we don't talk about it, but I talk about it beforehand. Sites is for, also you might not need sites, but it's just a free software that helps you to create websites. And contacts is just keeping your contacts, friends, families, teachers, and as a contact in your list. And currents is for just for sharing data for organizations and chatting. So you really don't need that at the moment, but it's good to know for you. So there is no homework for you today. And that's all for this uh, class. I hope that you have learned over this semester a lot. I hope you remember some of it. I hope you did learn something and most of you have done your homework, so thank you. 
And yeah, so that's all for today. Stay safe, stay home, and take care of yourself. And hopefully see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.